Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I will be showing you guys how you can level up extremely fast and you can do this completely by yourself. So of course there's going to be a couple requirements but before we actually go and get on with that let's just go ahead and get on with our daily shoutouts which is actually going to go to all of these people. So everyone you see below the screen here happens subscribed since the last video was published so thank you for that. And if you guys want to be featured in the next shout out, all you got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also like comment down below. Not only help with the video's ratings, but you also get in the next shout outs. Alright, so just starting off with this, you guys may or may not know it, but currently this week in GTA 5, it is double money and RP on all of the biker sales missions. That includes a weed, cocaine lockup, uh, meth, and then whatever else there is, I'm not exactly sure all of them, but there's five businesses in total. Now for this one, you will have three requirements. So the first one is you need to purchase a MC Clubhouse. You do that by going over to your phone, go over to internet, you want to then click on money and services, go over to it, foreclosures, maze bank, you want to enter site, and you have all of these options to choose from. Now to make this easier, on the top right corner, you just want to click on clubhouses, and now we have a select few of them that we can choose from. Now there are some up here at um, Los Santos or sorry, Blaine County. And if you guys own the Criminal Starter Pack, you can get the Great Sharpel at Clubhouse for free. So of course you just want to purchase one of these and you're good to go. And then from here you just want to make your way there. Inside your Clubhouse, what you want to do is make your way over to the computer, which is going to be the right side of your building. From here, you want to go ahead and make sure you register as an MC president. By opening up the interaction menu, we actually have to retire from um, Secure Server. So go ahead, we're going to go over to MC Clubhouse. There we go, and start a motorcycle club. From here, you want to sit down at the computer and you want to access it. This is actually where you can purchase your warehouses, including the cocaine lockup, uh, the meth, you know, weed, or whatever we all have. So, of course, we have all of them in total. We got forgeries, weed, counterfeit cash, meth, and cocaine. Now, of course, for me, I actually own all of them, but you only need to have two in total. So, make sure to have two of them for the maximum potential for our RP method. So, of course, I'm going to do the cocaine lockup since we already got a little bit of stock in there, and then our weed farm. So what we're going to be doing first is our weed farm as we actually don't have any supplies in there. So what we're going to do is go over to it. Now we are inside our weed farm. So what you want to do is go and make your way over to the computer which is actually going to be right over here. You want to go ahead and access it. Go ahead and log in. At the computer here we got our resupply. You can see here we've done four total sales. So we're going to go ahead and resupply this. Now you can purchase your supplies if you're actually like at the very minimum and you won't have no stock or supplies. You can purchase them for $75,000. Now of course that's totally up to you. But we're going to go ahead and sell the supplies as I don't want to lose any money from this. And then of course you'll get a call from LGT and he's just going to tell you exactly what you need to do. So for this mission specifically we have to find the vans carrying the supplies. Alright, so we just found the van carrying the supplies. There was actually five of them that we had to look into. Thankfully, the first one that I looked at was the one that had supplies in it. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of them real quick. We're going to steal the van and then deliver it back to our base. And there we go. Just like that, we resupplied all of our weed. Or I'm actually not sure how many bars they give us for doing this. So let's go ahead and look real quick. Okay, it looks like they almost supplied everything. It was actually four bars. So we're actually going to go ahead. We're going to leave this alone and let our supplies go into product, which will give us value. And then what we're going to go ahead and do next is leave the wheat farm. And we're going to make our way over to the cocaine lockup, which is actually right next to us. Well, you know, not, not right next to us, but it's pretty close. And of course, we're going to go ahead and go there and we're going to do the exact same thing is resupply it. Alright, so here we go. Looks like we have $280,000 in value currently. I actually didn't even know that. I know we had two bars, but I didn't realize they equaled up to that much. So we're going to go ahead and get more supplies for this, which technically we could go ahead and sell it if we want to. it. But I'm going to go ahead and fill this up since we already have it so far in. So we're going to go ahead and steal the supplies, and hopefully this isn't too bad of a mission. 
It looks like for this one, what we're having to do is go to the power station. Okay, well, we're about to get over to the power station. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do now. It says, intimidate the target. Okay, so now that we intimidated him, they actually gave us the location to where the supplies are. There we go. It looks like the supplies is in this bug van here. And I think all we got to do from here is just deliver it back to our base. Yeah, look at that. We just got to deliver it back to the business and we're good to go. There we go. We got it delivered just like that. Let's go ahead and see where our bar is at at least. Hopefully, in one run, we should be good. Yep. I'm actually really glad about that. It only takes one run to get our supplies full. Now, that doesn't mean that the supplies are actually going to max the profit out. I think it's like every two bars for supplies, it's like one bar for product. I'm not exactly sure I could be wrong with that, but I do know that just because I have full supplies doesn't mean the product's going to be full when it gets done. So there we go. Now, we could have the choice of actually going and resupplying our three other businesses. Now, that is totally up to you and what you want to do with that. I'm currently not going to, at least not in this video. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is actually go back to our last business over here to our weed farm. And we're going to see where it's currently at. So what I decided to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and resupply all at five businesses. Now you can honestly just do one if you want to. It totally is up to you. Now of course the more businesses you have, the more RP you can make in that time frame. So it is totally up to you, but if you only have the money for one business, only do that. So of course we're going to go ahead. I'm going to restock all five of them. So we have already got our weed farm and our cocaine locked up all the way full in supplies. So we're going to go ahead and restock our other three and we're going to go ahead and just wait it out. Have you ever been broke in GTA and just wish you could go from this to that without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from $99 just to a million? That could probably get you a couple cars, maybe some buildings and businesses, but nothing to what you need. Luckily, we have OP Mods. OP Mods is a GTA 5 money account and services website that's basically really trustworthy. Not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a 5 star rating of Trustpilot, but they're also a lot cheaper than the other GTA 5 competitors. And you can even use code discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you and back to the video. Alright, so it's been around 15 minutes now. So we're going to go ahead and just start selling everything. Now our supplies is still at 2 bars, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and start selling it though. And then I'm going to go ahead and count the RP. So let's go over to the computer here. Let's log in. And of course with this one compared to a lot of the other businesses... Is they give you two different locations to sell from it. So we can sell it to Los Santos for 120k or to Blaine County for 181,000. Now, of course, we're going to do Blaine County. Now, if you guys are only doing this for RP, I still recommend doing this just because it's still good money. So we're going to go ahead and sell it. Now, there is a chance we might get additional vehicles or like helicopters or whatever you have to use to actually transport it. And for this one, it looks like we're going to be using a helicopter. So for this one, we have to go over to LSIA, and it looks like we actually have two helicopters we got to use. And there we go. Alright, so we're in our first helicopter here. Now it says deliver the weed to the drop-off locations. It looks like we're going to carry five for each helicopter. I'm about to crash into it, actually. Okay, there we go. We'll just go to five different locations. We'll come back, get that helicopter, go to the other five locations, which, since we did sell at Blaine County, this is going to take us a minute Hopefully we have enough time remaining by the time we're done with this. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this done. We're in our very last sale now. and We have around 11 minutes remaining. Not bad, but it definitely did take forever. So let's go ahead and see what we got. And there we go. Look at that massive RP boost as well as $181,000. So awesome. So now we actually have four more to go for this. And I guess the next one we're going to do is the cocaine lockup, since that one was the first one that we did, which gives us more time for the other three to build in supplies. So let's go ahead and go there. Okay, we got our next place here. It looks like our value is at $490,000. This is definitely going to be a big one here, so let's go ahead and sell it for almost $735,000 in Blaine County. Please, for the love of God, do not be a helicopter. Okay, good. It's a... Wow, that's a lot of motorcycles, though. 
All right, well, we got to do this with a motorcycle. It looks like we got four deliveries each. Not too bad. So let's go ahead and do this. We've also got around 30 minutes to actually sell all of this. So hopefully we can do it in time. I don't know why. Usually I never have to worry about that. But now that I'm doing these massive large sales, I do get worried about it sometimes. All right, there we go. We're in our very last delivery now. Let's see how much we get from this. $735,000 as well as a small amount of RP. So I guess what I'm getting from this video now that I'm making it is that it doesn't matter how big or how small you sell it in. Um, you still get around the same amount of RP. So that order or that selling actually answered my question. Because I was kind of curious about that one. It's not like, you know, like the RP crates where if you sell like three of them, you get more RP than selling to it. So there we go. So, of course, now you want to make sure to sell them in small quantities. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our very last sale, which is going to be our counterfeit cash. And then I'm going to be done with this video because it's already been like two hours of recording this. And I really want to try to make it at least 10 minutes or under. So, we're going to go ahead and sell this and we're going to count up the RP and see how much we get in total. Alright, so this is going to be the last one that we do. This is for the counterfeit cash. The max value we have is $113,400. So let's go ahead and log in. We're going to sell it over to Blaine County for $170,000. Hopefully this is not bikes. Okay, it looks like a helicopter this time. And I think we're having two helicopters for it. Yes, we are. Alright, All right. so let's go ahead and get that done. And then I'll count the RP and see what we get in total. Alright, so we're in our very last delivery. It did take us a little bit. We actually have 14 minutes remaining. So let's go ahead and get this done real quick. And there we go. $170,000. We actually almost managed to level up there. But there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to go and count it. See how much RP we got in total. I'm actually going to add up the money too because we did make some pretty good money off this. So I just added up the total for everything. So for the money, we got $1,085,325. And for the RP, we got $4,933 in total. That is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content like this. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there. And goodbye.